Welcome to Cash Grab, the podcast where we go through different franchises that have been turned into video games and decide if they're cash grabs or not. I'm Steph. You're so good at that intro. I am Tom. I'm Adam. And I'm Daniel. We've got Dan back. And yes, I am Tom. Wait, 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 wait. When have you ever called yourself Daniel? He did on the last episode as yeah, well. Yeah, Daniel. Was, when I came, <laughs> I, I, when I came I to was, edit it. I was going to say something and then I thought it'd be a bit rude. So I thought, <laughs> I'll leave it 20 seconds and add it on to it. <laughs> oh, God, here we he go. He did it on the last episode and I was like, and I didn't realise it at the time. Daniel. And then when I went to edit it, so it was formal. like, I'm Daniel. I was like, I don't think I've ever called him Daniel. Should we interview. all go by our full names? Like, Well, Adam's just going to be the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Adam. Adam Ass. <laughs> you could be Stefano. I could play the role of Thomas. I and don't Daniel like, don't like can be name. Daniel. Daniel. You only use full names when you're in trouble. That's right. Yeah. Stefano. Hold on. Ooh, that sounds... Hold on. You're not in trouble. Stefano. Don't worry. You did a fantastic intro. And Thank I'm you. Sure, I'm sure everyone listening now would agree. Yeah, my mirror practice. Clap one. if you agree. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clapping. Hopefully you cause no accidents if you're listening in the car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. So, Dan, you're back. I am back. And you picked this one, didn't you? Yes. Well, well, t- you, you t- picked a different one, but we had to do this one first. <laughs> yes, yes. I chose Spider-Man 2, but we'll get to that. Someday. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Mm-hmm. Before we do Spider-Man 1 first. It makes sense. Yes. Chronology. <laughs> <laughs> the chronological? In chronological order. Yeah, but there must be like a, a G word for that. Chronology. 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 Chronologically. 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 But no, 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 because that's. No, but I'm that's talking still... about chronology. <laughs> I, I imagine we're going to Google chronology in a very short time and it's going to be something very different. Yeah, we're fucking good. Explaining. It's going to be something a bit chronology. embarrassing. Well, um. We'll find out in a second. But as uh, yeah, I said, I blew it too early, a little bit. I said Spider-Man said 2 instead that of before. saying... Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> instead of saying the actual game we're doing, yes, we are doing Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man. And I'm very glad you did choose this, uh, Dan, for two reasons. Number one, uh, big fan of the movie. Yeah. Always love movie, and I'll throw it out there early. Um, I think Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man. That's what I agree with. But I haven't seen Homecoming. No, no, no yeah. and likewise, that goes Yeah, I say I would agree with you, but then I've seen Homecoming, well, and I would say the new one is probably the best one. Because you're the only one who's seen Homecoming, do you think, like, is it like he's distinctive, uh, distinctively? Distinctively better than Tobey Maguire, or is it just like, it's a bit of a hard pick? They're different, though. Surely I, they must I don't be know. different. They're, yeah, they're very different, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I came out of the cinema thinking that was the best one, yeah. Hmm... And I would, I want to go and watch it again. Like if it was out, I'd watch it again. Damn. Okay. I, I really enjoyed it. it. I thought it was, just, oh yeah, I thought it was really good. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's one of the reasons why I'm glad you chose it. Second reason mm-hmm. is I used to play the game a hell of a lot when I was younger, mm-hmm. and I had very fond memories of it until we started replaying it, <laughs> <laughs> which we will be is, getting to. I was about to say it doesn't is... really show that you played the game a hell of a lot because you were shit. Uh, I think you'll find I was oh, the best. Steph was pretty awful too. I got I got to Uncle Ben's yeah. killer. And then died instantly. Yeah, you did die. He had a fucking shotgun, <laughs> for fuck's sake. We'll get to that, lads. Yeah, we'll sorry. Get getting a bit ahead. <laughs> but the thing is, I didn't even know this game actually had a game. Yeah. Because I knew Spider-Man 2, the game, because I had that, and that was great. Yeah. But I didn't know Spider-Man 1 even had Surely, a game. Surely, if you had Spider-Man 2, the game, you would assume that there was Spider-Man mm-hmm. 1, the game. Yeah, it's but I was, I, was like, I, was, I was 10 when this game jump. came out, Adam. I barely Chronologically. Chronologically. Oh, well. Chronologically. Now you say that. Chronology. Are the arrangement right? of events or dates in the order of their occurrence. I there you go. Right. So it is, it's chronology. Alright. Next time I'm fucking Welcome countdown. Welcome to Dictionary <laughs> Corner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never actually played the second game, though. You never played Spider-Man 2. Oh, oh you're so missing good. out. I know. And I know so how good, good it is. I've, I, I, I've watched, like... I, because you've like an old friend of ours, uh, mine and Steph's, uh, had it in the past, and I yeah, remember, I, I remember, I remember him playing it, but I never actually played it myself. So it I've is. seen, I've seen like half an hour of it, but I've never actually played. Things it. I remember thinking like everyone still says it's the best Spider-Man game. Yeah, but I'm scared for when we go back to it in, in the future. Mm. It's one of those. Well, f- I don't well, think you should be too scared. Well, I mean, some games do hold up no matter like what. Like like earlier we we're talking about because uh, we we're talking about the release date of the game. And we were comparing it to games that came out at a similar time or on and on the same year. And just to throw it out there, this was released in 2002, both the film and the game. But, like, Final Fantasy X was two years earlier. And that game still holds up. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. We still all play that. So I mean, some games just stand mm. the test of time. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure this one did. Well, should we get to the film anyway? We'll get to the yeah. Film, let's, so let's what? It was. It that. was developed by Sony. Yes. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Sony have had the rights for Spider-Man for fucking years. Have they? Yeah. Why didn't I know this? What about Marvel? No. Well, Marvel went like nearly bankrupt, didn't they? They sold off loads of uh, stuff. Right. This was years ago. So Sony. That's owned... why when Marvel boot like started making films, they went with B B class with uh, Iron Man and Thor and all that because no one really knew who they were because they sold off like Fantastic Four and Spider Man to make money. So with the B like... class. Yeah, Iron Man was B class before the film, mate. No one knew who he was. I, I find did. that really interesting. I watched the animated series. Well, there yeah, you go. Yeah. But like, he wasn't one of the main faces. I find that really interesting because Iron Man for me was always one of the big dogs of Marvel. <laughs> big dog. <laughs> yeah, no, he was, he was considered yeah. a B class. Wow. I, so I, who, who, is, who is thinking A class then? Spider Man, Superman. Uh, Superman, no, not Superman. Superman's no, DC. DC. Spider Man. Spider Man, Fantastic Four. X Men? X Men, yeah, X Men are probably the, the big boys, isn't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I well, they were owned so. by Spider-Man. Fox for a while, right? Really? X-Men still are, aren't they? Yeah, I think What's I think going so. on yeah. in the world? Yeah, because that's the thing that Marvel sold off loads of stuff because they were literally selling filing happen? cabinets and stuff to, to get cabinets? by. Yeah, That's not Spider Man. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's how much they were selling. That'll be a shit hero. <laughs> <Yeah>. Filing cabinet. <laughs> 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 he can arrange himself. Alphabetically, but that's why that's why to get the new Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> to get Spider-Man in the new Marvel films, they had to make a massive deal. Shit, sure. I didn't. I I genuinely didn't know this. Yeah, it's really interesting. It's probably not. Well, I find it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Okay. So this was uh, produced by Sony. Sony. Yes. Okay. Right. And this and it was released in. And June. I think it was directed by like. Raimi? Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi? Yeah, yeah, Sam Raimi, who also done... The only one I can think of is Drag Me to Hell. Yeah, that's oh, the one do I that, Yeah, he did well. Drag Me to Hell. So, but that's the only one I can... Only other one I can think he's directing, I'm to be sure. honest. sure. Uh-huh. I can't remember. Yeah. So these are the... But he did, he did the Spider-Man trilogy, didn't he? Yeah, one, yeah, one, two, one, two, three. So obviously this was like... This is the first film I could like associate him with anyway. And the film was released in 2002, like I said. It was released in June, in the summer... So it was like gonna. I suppose it, they always intended it to be like summer blockbuster type thing. Yeah, and yeah. it worked. It yeah, it did, it did work. It was a hit. Well done, <laughs> Sam. Well done. Proud of you. <laughs> Not you. You got name step. But I'm proud of Sam. So let's get you're to telling the film. Sam you're proud of him for a film he made what 15 years ago. He might be listening, and he might not have got some praise in some time. Especially like we say, we haven't one. heard anything about him since Drag Me to Hell. So well done, Sam. Because Drag Me to Hell was shit. I liked it. It was a bit of a slog. I liked it. It was crap. Why do I like I, I, just, I didn't say it was Why crap. Why do I always like <laughs> shit films? <laughs> anyway, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> had any of you seen Spider-Man before? Obviously, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. yes. Of course Did you go had. see it at the cinema when you were a kid? No. I don't remember seeing it at the cinema. I did. No, I think it was just on TV. I think I saw it at the cinema. Did you? Yeah. I'll check you out. Okay, oh, I saw the second Spider-Man at the cinema oh, twice shit. as well. Oh, shit. Was it? Wasn't there like a a big deal because it was the first twelve A? Am I thinking of that? Was no. that was that this I remember Man seeing eight legged freaks and that was a twelve A. Eight legged freaks. Do you remember that <laughs> shitty film? I, I remember like, that. Film. I have a it weird so funny. memory of like Spider Man being like a twelve A and being You know like, what? I think I, I do think there was some like yeah some, But no no no, but wasn't like uh it. Star Wars episode one a twelve A? Or is that a PG? Don't know. It must have been a twelve A because Liam Neeson's in it. But I don't. No, I no can't child actually remember like, what. No child should be I can't able actually to remember what twelve A meant. It meant you could go what? in if you were with an adult. What? Oh uh, no! Yeah, if if you're under twelve and you're accompanied by an adult, you can watch the film. Oh, but I think do you, you remember... could go into a twelve if you're accompanied by an adult. Anyway, no, I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah, twelve A. No, yeah. but not. Yeah, but no. But that's I think what the they changed. One. No, 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 you couldn't. That was that was the law back then. Do you remember? Do you guys remember the original trailer for this? Who what? No. The original trailer for this came out in 2001 before the Twin Towers. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, and they were in... and Because they were in the original trailer, weren't they? And he, like, he, he swung into the middle, spawned, like, made a web, and then he caught a helicopter in it. It was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I had it to get rid of that. class, and they had to get rid of it because of the terrorist attack. Shit. Actually, but yeah, that's a good point, isn't it? Obviously, this is a, quite a, um, a delicate time in America. Yeah, yeah. Well, in world history. Time. So, damn... Mm. Something to take your mind off the world's atrocities, I suppose. Bit yes. of Spider-Man. Bit well, of here, here you go. Here you go, Ad. This is what you're looking looking for. 
Uh, but, but they gave it a 12 uh-huh. due to Spider-Man's popularity of younger children. But this uh, prompted much controversy as uh, people were arguing that it should have been a 15. And like I said, there's a, f- there's a scene in this film that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Mm. Um, Despite this, some places changed it to a PG. Oh, really? Went the other way. Um, and then some other places changed it to a PG-12. Right. And the US rated it PG-13. Which is our equivalent of a 12 12 eh? Yeah. And in late August, the BBFC, so they're the people that rate the films, relaxed its policy to a 12A. So, right. there you go. Yeah, 12A. Mm. Although, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. I think Willem Dafoe, he... He almost ranks anything up to a another <laughs> level. That's, yeah, that is true. Um, he could make it at fifteen quite easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, as as we already stated earlier, like Tobey Maguire is the starring role in this film. He plays Peter Parker slash Spider Man. Um, I don't know. Spoilers. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't don't worry. Just in editing, just bleep all of that out. Yeah, yeah. So it sounds like a big sweat. He plays Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like, I don't know what like any you know like there's no kind of like backup role there's just like a multicast of like supporting characters sort of thing yeah you, you know got what I mean? Mary Jane you've got so, the Harry yeah. Osborne you've got the no what's, what's, what's his name Norman 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 Osborne, Norman. Norman Osborne. Yeah. Yeah. Flash, Flash Thompson Flash Thompson, Thompson. yeah Mary oh, no, I was gonna say, Aunt May the guy from Light Aunt May. Uncle Ben Uncle Ben so this is the so by, by this film so basically should we get into the film so yeah Peter Parker, mm-hmm. he's, a, he's just a typical nerd. No yeah. one, no one yeah. seems to like him except he's, Harry Osborn. Actually, he's like an outcast. Genuinely, no one like. Not even the driver of the bus. Not yeah. even like the geekiest girl on that bus. Yeah, like, she was like, "Don't dare sit next to me." Well, she's yeah. like looking like a right nerd. Yeah, look out for each other. Come on. Yeah, we've got yeah. To stick together. It's true. You would have thought so. So yeah, so they're maybe all... he smells. Maybe he smelled. Yeah, we, we wouldn't know, would we? Yeah. yeah, film didn't develop that plot very well. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he's a nerd. So it starts off him running for the bus. Mm-hmm. Is and it he starts off? Oh yeah, it's so. Yeah, yeah, and he's like yeah, that little voiceover slapping the bus, yeah. trying to get stopped, and everyone's laughing. Slapping the bus. And Mary Jane, being Slap. the wonderful person she is, was like, "Come on, mate, throw him a bone." He's been running for fucking miles. Yeah, he's been. Well, she says he's been running since somewhere Boulevard or something like that. Battersea fucking power station, and for mate. For we know, that's 20 miles away. Like, we have no idea. Yeah, it's true. It's not, oh, re- it's oh, not oh, relevant to anyone that doesn't live in Manhattan. He's nothing, <laughs> like, he's nothing but persistent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Robin's giving fairness, up and walking. There's one, one thing I wanted to point out. If he has been running a considerable amount of time, when he gets on the bus, he's not out of breath. No, he's not. No. So even before he's They've got his, a bit of sweat uh, going on. Yeah. Yeah, he had a bit of sweat, but he wasn't panting. No, anything. and like Steph said, that could be, you know, 20 miles away. Could have been running a considerable amount of time. Even a short amount. And he was of time. keeping up a bus. Yeah. To be honest, if he's going to a school twenty miles away, he needs to reevaluate his. That's life. why he's getting the bus. Yeah, the buses go long distance. Come from a poor <laughs> family. Yeah. They, yeah, they have the ability. They've got, to, they've yeah. got no these. Way. They've got these four wheels on the bottom. Makes them go really far. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing shit, Adam. The world. <laughs> it's like your car, Ad. No. Yeah, you go. know your car. Yeah, yeah but. It's not yellow, I know. My it's car confusing. goes my car goes faster than people can run. It, yeah. Well, it depends on how well, the bus was carrying how a lot of people. You push your foot down on a big black thing on the floor, and then that makes the four black things on the front on the bottom of the car go move faster. So my car is powered by black things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll, I'm saying. Essentially. We'll get to that later. <laughs> 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 this is. Get very complicated. <laughs> so yeah, he gets on the bus and he gets bullied. It's it's powered by liquid black. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll call it liquid black, which sounds like a material used in a hero film, like the evil material. We got to stop like liquid black. black. Spider-Man. Or like, what? Oh yeah. You know when yeah. he turns into he gets the black suit Spider-Man. Yeah. Sorry. The I'm, symbiote. Let's let's get away from black. The word black. For a little while. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the film. So Mary Jane. Uh, Makes the bus driver stop, and the bus driver reluctantly lets him on, and Peter gets on, and he's a bit sweaty. And like you guys were saying, nobody lets him sit down. He's, it, you know, the film, like, solidifies him straight off as the nerdy outcast. The uh, unliked. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. He's probably an outcast because he is the youngest looking one there, out of the group of 
that adult is true. teenagers. Yeah, they're like that 30 is true. <laughs> Yeah, it is <laughs> true. There's just like a guy on the back with like a beard down to his knees. It's like, hey, champ. I mean, why do, why do movies do that? Because surely they can get people who are 18, 17 years yeah. old. To act in their movies. It's not the same as like child actors, yeah. which you do have to be a bit more picky about. Sometimes. But these are just extras. These are just people sitting on a bus. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you know think? I, mean? I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like, do you reckon it's because they, they, they just they like have... the OC? They were all quite old when they recorded that, and like they, those kind of shows. Yeah, they're actually a fair bit older than they need to be. But the thing is, is do you reckon it's because obviously they they hire the rest? Uh, the kind of extras and like supporting roles. Obviously, the, yeah, they they get they their main role look, first. Yeah, they need so to look So obviously, they have the they have to match to the main role, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'd imagine Tobey Maguire was, you know, the best by chance because of his acting, not necessarily his age. They chose him, so they just have to naturally yeah build that. everyone else around that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'd imagine that's why. That's a good answer there, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Thanks. Yeah. But the thing is, I I think you wouldn't really but, think anything of it if they hadn't released. Yeah. The new Spider-Man, where he looks like he could be the age he's meant yeah, to be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it, it works because yeah. like when they're in, I don't know you haven't seen it, but they're in the high school typical. I've seen like, the trailers. And see, stuff, yeah, yeah, they're in that little high school dinner scene, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it looks exactly like a high school. None of them like, yeah. he's a bit fucking old. Like, you know, it, it works. Yeah, and I think if if it wasn't for the how music, like movies developed with the younger casts, definitely we probably wouldn't have noticed. Well, that's no. that's the thing is like even though that's the case that that's what's happened with this Spider-Man, yeah. you know, this two thousand two one. Is that they've obviously matched it around Tobey Maguire? It you you kind of can't take your eyes off it. Do you know what I mean? Because like it's it's kind of senior high school kids. So what like sixteen? I guess around that age, yeah, 17, maybe 16, 17, 17, 17 to eighteen. Maybe. But still, like you know, they they must be under eighteen because that's going into college. Mm. Yeah, but they're about to graduate. So I All right, assume so you yeah, get to probably turning about 18, eighteen sort of thing. But still, I mean. It's something you can't really take your eyes off. You know, it's just one of those things that sits in the back of your head in a movie. You're kind of like, you're always aware that these guys kind of look like 30. And you're like... They're only they're only yeah. in high school for the first uh, 40 minutes of the movie. I think yeah. I think they do graduate pretty much after. Because that's <laughs> when he finds a job at the Bugle and uh, goes on. They, they yeah, go, they yeah. Go we, we didn't get to it in half an hour we yeah. watched. No, no. So then what happens after we've been introduced to Peter? We get introduced to Harry... Yes. yes. Harry Osborne. Kind of the opposite. He's not. He's still not like the coolest guy in the world, but he's not. He's not the dorkiest. Guy. Yeah. He's. he's ba- it comes across that he's basically not picked on because his dad holds a very esteemed position in society. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't seem so rich. much. He's just rich. Yeah. It doesn't seem so much about him as a person, more the fact that he's got like a background. Yeah, but is it explained how Harry and Peter are friends? No. No. Because it's a bit weird. Because. It starts off with Harry and his and his dad in the car. Yeah. And he's like, I can't, I can't remember exactly. This is this is James Franco and Willem Dafoe, by the way. Yeah. yeah. So basically, Willem Dafoe's like, you shouldn't have got kicked out of every private school I've you've, you've been in. Yeah. Now you're now you're at this public. School. Severe disappointment. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, well, how does he know Peter then? Because surely Peter hasn't been going to any private schools. I think. Um, yeah, but it's not. It's not like he's just been just been sent to this. Uh, like state school mm. so he's been there for a while he's been there for yeah. a while but, but how did you make friends been... with Peter that's what I, I don't know I guess they do hint at it because Peter starts talking about um, reading about his dad's uh, mm. scientific lectures and stuff so I imagine yeah but then when he, he latched, mentions that I imagine he latched on to Harry Osborne yeah. just because he had already had an interest in his father's work yeah. but surely he would have then met um, Norman Osborn before. beforehand. So yeah, why? Not necessarily. Why? No, no. Not necessarily. But Norman yeah, Osborn is a they're... busy man. No, because when you're, <laughs> when you're in secondary school, <laughs> I agree. He is, but gas. when you're in secondary school, where do you hang out other than the park to get drunk? The piazza. No, like <laughs> outside of school. Um, Your yeah. mates' houses. Homes. Yeah. Do I you doubt the parents. I doubt Harry yeah, yeah. would have taken him back yeah, to his mansion. So yeah. you should have met him. Harry seems yeah, like the kind of kid who's no. Yeah, he seems he like the kind of kid who's embarrassed about it. Would be like, wealth. mate, have you seen the shining? He, yes, does, he does. He does. Let's go roll yeah. tricycles around my <laughs> mansion. <laughs> That's exactly what we used to do, wasn't it, Stephanie? Red rum. Oh, those days. Yeah. <laughs> Our little matching dresses. Yeah, it's yeah. great fun. Good times, man. Still do it. We should, yeah. This weekend, <laughs> this weekend, this weekend <laughs> definitely. But no, I agree with what you're saying, Adam. Repeat it, please, because I've forgotten what it was. I, said, I feel <laughs> like he's the type of person who's embarrassed about his wealth or yeah. his dad's wealth, more to the point. Yeah, yeah, yes. maybe. Yeah. But I still think he'd invite his his like only friend back to his house. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how 
good of a friend. Don't forget, there. these guys are like 30. They can go into bars. I just find it a bit weird that they've been friends for quite a while, you assume, and he's like, oh yeah, I, I know your work. Yeah. You'd, you'd think that he'd already know that. Yeah, I, I got that as well. There's, there's one thing before this conversation that he has that I want to point out, though. When they're kind of lining out, uh, lining up all the students outside the scientific centre or whatever it is, one of them's got like a hacky sack ball and he's like playing around with it and he just kind of throws it to one of his friends and the teacher just grabs it in midair like like Mr Miyagi. Like, yeah, like he's man, yeah. And I was yeah. like, yeah, it's, that's exactly what I thought. I thought like, well, admittedly, Peter Parker did just run 20 miles and like barely broke a sweat. So, I mean, he's definitely a contender for being Spider-Man. That guy caught a fucking hacky sack ball travelling at 80 miles an hour through midair <laughs> in a, in a, within a metre's distance between two children. Uh, that guy's definitely a contender for being Spider-Man. But do you know what the weird thing was? Yeah. He looks a lot younger than all the students. Yeah, he does look about the <laughs> same yeah. age. Yeah. What's that about? I didn't, I didn't even realise he, he was a teacher. Do you think it, it might just be one of the students? Just going to say like, it. Uh, oh. Bl- black don't crack. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that good? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. It took me a, took me a second. <laughs> you did it, Tom. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how it feels. No, I'm just saying that they age really well. They? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop now. Yeah. Just because your family's from Egypt. Yeah. Adam. Yeah, Adam's allowed to say these things. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, me, Adam and Steph are not. That's why we're silent. Yeah, but we'd be laughing. What's if his we name? Like told Adam. us this. Ahmed Ahmed told us this while we were in the pub the other day. Ahmed that's, Ahmed. They're exactly the words that he told this, us. This is this Who's is Ahmed this Ahmed? is a true story. I don't even oh, know. Was he thought I was Steph. he thought I was from Ice Finland yeah. or something. Ahmed Ahmed, a guy I met in the Crown. No, so not good in the they crown, named the, him uh, twice. Prince of Wales the other day. Our local pub. Uh, he was. What, 30? He was, no, he was, uh, yeah, he was 34, five. and he looked younger than us. He looked about 16, and I said, yeah. I, said not I said, I don't believe that you're 34. He yeah. said, black and then don't said, crack. And then he said, check this shit out. He said, black don't crack. So I've just, just repeated. Just it's, repeated it's you're paraphrasing, yeah, paraphrasing. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ahmed, but, Ahmed. I mean, there is some truth to that. Like, I mean, like, but like, yeah, like you say, this, the teacher, yeah, he looks insanely young. Younger, like, especially younger than uh, Flash. Yeah, Who's Flash. like? I mean, oh yeah. I mean, Flash Thompson? is. Yeah. Thompson. Yeah. I mean, Flash yeah. is like a big guy anyway, and I suppose the bigger you are, you kind of come across older just because you're taller, or, you know, and stuff. But he kind of, you know, he's he just looks older generally. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, but that's one thing I wanted to point out. Like this guy should have also be considered as one of the Spider Man, like contenders for being Spider Man in this film. When that spider was like, should I land on the photographer's hand or and give teacher. him a little nip, or should I just plonk myself on the teacher's cue ball head? And just give him a little nip. If I were that spider, I would have swung my web over to the other side of that scientific facility and bitten the teacher's head. I don't, I don't think he, the spider was <laughs> looking for someone in particular. I think he was. He was the most appropriate I think, I think, superhero to make I here. think that's the twist of the film, is that this isn't a matter of... The fate. spider's the true hero of the Yes. Yeah. You never the, know the where spider, he goes the spi- it's not. It's not the hero. It's the person that made the hero. It's like... The you spider know, is God. It's like... God. Yes, the it's sp- like it's like Batman isn't the hero; it's his parents' sacrifice which is the hero because that's what made the hero. You see what I mean? This yeah. spider, Harry Potter, is not the hero; it's his mother's love. Yes, that is the hero. It was exactly. Voldemort who was the hero for making him into Harry Potter. I mean, that yes. could be argued. <laughs> it's. Do you see what I mean? Back so onto this... Spider Man. Yeah, but this spider. The spider's is the not hero. the hero. He is the guy who killed Uncle Ben. <sighs> Is the hero? Fucking oh yeah, legend. no, because that was the catalyst. <laughs> That's the catalyst for He's turning right. him into. Because he might but have gone the other way. We, we don't know. Should we say it's like a sixty forty yeah. spider and the <laughs> spider and the guy? But I would say sixty percent the spider. Come on, yeah. that spider. Like he actually made the Spider Man. Who made the spider? Oscorp. Oh, so Oscorp. Oscorp's oh! the hero. Oscorp's the hero. Was it Oscorp <laughs> in that one? Were yeah. there an Oscorp building? I don't yeah. know, I'm just assuming it Has was. Has this gone too Oscar far? Do everything, <laughs> Has this gone too far? Maybe. So yeah, anyway, so, so they're meeting up and they go to the spider facility. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a big spider facility. Yeah. The zoo. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then they're looking at all these different spiders and Mary Jane goes, oh, I think the woman, the like, woman giving the presentation is like, oh, these 15 have been 
specially treated. Yeah. And then Mary Jane's like, there's 14. And yeah. she's like, she's a bit of a boff. Oh, there should be 15, yeah. but maybe one's gone out for testing and then just shrugs it off. Doesn't yeah. matter. Sloppy. Sloppy. Yeah. Work. And then, and then Peter's taking pictures of Mary Jane. Really? really with consent. Cr- yeah, really. Yeah. But, but it is creepy. creepy it well, is with consent. He said, I want to take pictures of you with the spiders. And then all he did was Didn't take pictures of Didn't he say it was for the her. school newsletter? Yeah, or something? Yeah, he said he needs yeah. one with students in it. Yeah. I, I, you know, yeah. I thought, Mary Jane's very gullible, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, he's cl- clearly Slag. that's going into the wank vault. Pretty quick after. <laughs> I think he's got a pretty big van- oh, van- <laughs> van- <laughs> van- <laughs> vault. Got a huge van- vault. <laughs> <laughs> the Germans coming out. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, Mary Jane's quite gullible. But yeah, like you know, as soon as they say like a spider's missing, you said it whilst they were whilst we're watching the film, and it's like wouldn't well actually you uh, Adam and Steph, you both said it. Like, wouldn't that be a real point of contention if you worked at the f- science facility? And, and you know these like, ones been worked on. Yeah, and they're like highly toxic and venomous and like you don't understand the genetics of them. It's a brand new And it's new just escaped and he's just like, and the woman's just like, oh, well, he's probably gone for yeah. a pint. You'd probably, <laughs> you'd probably tell someone at least. You'd probably go like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeff, just, just so just, you know. Yeah, just to let you know. This one's not Yeah, who, who took yeah. out number 12? Yeah. Everyone's yeah. just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you think there'd be a bit more so then the spider comes down and bites Peter's hand yes. I think the spider was number 8 Ooh. that's an 8 legs number 8, number eight. Oh. Dan get out oh. <laughs> just put some footstep sound effects <laughs> yeah I would now mute Dan's microphone <laughs> and, then, and then a car going no, off don't in do an airplane <laughs> oh no Dan and Adam are sharing a microphone sorry guys oh. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll mute half the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's when Peter gets bitten. It drops down from the ceiling and bites him as he's taking a photo of Mary Jane, and that's where it all starts, pretty much, doesn't it? Everything yeah. beforehand was kind of irrelevant because then he heads back home and he starts getting ill, very ill, and he probably thinks, oh, "I just got a flu or something." Yeah. Bloody science! Very, facilities. very quick onset flu. Yeah, it might be like a superbug. Hey. 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 And uh, joke. <laughs> and then we go on to Norman Osborn, uh, Osborne's uh, origin story. We swap to him. Did we go to his origin story? Well, kind of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Yeah, near enough. Is this where like they're going around the facility? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So this is when basically you get your first glimpse at what. You think the glider? Yes, but the, the, they already have like the suit. Yeah, it's like you said, Tom. It's like there's a so they walk in. There's a there's a glider like flying around with a man on it, and you just go, well, they've clearly made that suit for a supervillain. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah. straight away. It's like it it's, does. It's not like standard army fatigue of, that's like, it. of just like black flight suit yeah. and a standard helmet. Yeah, exactly. It's, it was full on like a weird helmet, green. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, Straight up that, super that's, villain that's, from day one. That's what I always think about these things. It's like you have these things in movies that are like weapons facilities or like government testing agencies and stuff like that. And they're creating this stuff. And then like you just see a suit in the corner and one of the people be like, oh, and what's that suit about? And be like, that suit's top secret. And the camera will like pan in and it's just like this giant suit made, up, made out of obsidian and written in blood on it says destroyer of worlds. And you think, well, that's going to end up being some sort of super villain suit, isn't it? It's inevitable. Yeah, it's his destroyer of worlds on it. <laughs> I mean, he's after more than just Earth. He wants a moon or two as well. Under his belt. Orion's belt. Oh, oh <laughs> my God. Are you just working up to that? For God's sake. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh, I was wondering where this was I leading. knew one of us should have interrupted him. So <laughs> why did we not interrupt him? I'm why so we glad we didn't. <laughs> After Superblog as well, it was so good. Oh. Superblog was so natural. Oh. Anyway, so yeah, oh. we, we meet Norman Osborn and the uh, evil military yeah. who are making him speed up his progress or whatever he's doing. To, yeah. uh, well, they want to shut it down, don't they? They just don't they've, think it's good enough. They put funding in and they don't they think it's funding. yielding results. Yeah. So this is where he decides, fuck you, I'm going to show it works by using yeah. it on myself. Yeah. And... Um, I wrote down a note about this because the scene is he, it's basically just uh, Norman Osborn and one other scientist who I don't remember the name of. They did say Strom, 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 Doctor Strom. Strom. Oh, maybe I'm making that up. No, I think it was Strom. S T R O M. He was German. Yes, Doctor Strom. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's just him and Doctor Strom, 
and he like basically insists like you know you have to Just we have to me. test the chemical agent and I'm the one to do it this is the only way we're going to do it we have to prove it it has to be done now or otherwise we're all finished basically and he tests it so he sits he's in a chamber uh, kind of restrained but standing up um, and a green gas comes out and I thought to myself I made a note of it I just said green gas is never a good thing in any movie it's not green gas is never good you see green gas it, in games as well green gas yeah green gas always poisonous, poisonous gas yeah. Yeah. think about James Bond <laughs> yeah so what you're trying don't, to say don't think about it generally think so about what you're trying to say is, sing about James Bond <laughs> so you're trying to say that they should have known from the offset that this yeah. was going to end badly it's because like of the colour of the gas if you're producing something which, if you're producing a chemical agent and it ends up being green you think you would think to yourself bin it bin that fucking shit I want a blue gas blue gas means healing or a white gas like steam I want a, I want a, I want a canister I want, of steam. I want, I want a steam room. I want a, I want a canister of steam. Get me a steam room. I'll test it on myself. Oh, I'm hot. I'm really hot. God, I'm way too hot right now. Uh, sorry. But green gas well, is never right. good. Yeah, That's green poison. gas is never a good sign. And it's not good because look what happens to him. He fucking loses yep. his shit for a bit. And then old Strom or whatever his name is like, I'll save for you. A bit of glass. And he comes in and he chucks him for a fucking pane of glass and then kind of. Oh, then he does the Catwoman. Yes! <laughs> yes. He does Catwoman. yes, he does the Catwoman. He props himself off again. <laughs> yeah. I'd love it if they played like Love Cats or something. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> or it just said like Cats, the musical. <laughs> So yeah, that's how we get into... Well, we didn't actually see him turn into a Green Goblin, no. but we all know he gets turned into yeah. a Green Goblin. Yeah. And inevitably um, the glider and the suit are his yeah. attire. Well, the, it is mentioned right at, right at the end of the half now that it's been stolen. And he's like, what? Who stole it? Who could have done that? <laughs> Don't, Don't know. Yeah, he hasn't, <laughs> I was in the scheme room. totally but, realised, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't realised, because he's like split personality. Yeah, like schizo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then we've got the scene... The great scene in the high school when Peter's still working out his powers. Before yeah. that, though. Oh. So when Peter first wakes up after going to bed oh, yeah. after oh, the flu, yeah. and he goes over to the mirror, he goes to put his glasses on, yeah. and realizes that his eyesight's perfect, doesn't need glasses anymore. Yes. Which he kind of brushes off. Oh, all right, fine. Everyday occurrence. Do you know yeah. one thing yeah. I did find weird about that? Miracle. When he holds the glasses up to his eyes, and they blurred it. Yeah. They blurred the whole screen. Not just where the glass was. So if you took my glasses now and put them up to your eyes, yeah. everything around the glass would be normal except the bit where the glass is that would be blurred. Can I try it? Yeah. This is a test. If your whole, if your I, whole I, eyesight I, goes blurred. This is a test, ladies and gentlemen. I'll confirm it after it's done. So how near do I need to be? Well, he was like there, wasn't he? So hold him. Hold him like there. that? The stuff around right, it. so the stuff around the glass should still be clear. Yes, it is. In that, it wasn't. Was it not? No. Myth okay. Busted. Myth busted. They just, and they just, yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> they just, they were just lazy. They just a couple of edits. It's, it's bad, the whole bad screen. editing. Yeah, They're the kind of yeah. bad ed editing faux pas in this movie. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, Adam. Carry on. He woke up. He woke up. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> um, he didn't die. No. So then he, he looks in the mirror, and he's ripped to shit. Yeah, and just like oh, yeah, this is this is quite nice, quite nice, tasty. Get bit by a spider more often. His aunt calls in. Oh, is everything all right? Change. <laughs> and he looks down, and he's just like, my penis. Looks is at going. his penis. Is like, yeah, big change. Yes. <laughs> just yes. Like, uh, yeah. Oh god. Yeah. yeah. And then you see that his bedroom overlooks uh, MJ's Mary Jane's bedroom, and you think. She's going to see a big change What has he soon, done? I reckon. <laughs> he can no. see straight in there. Straight in there. Yeah. I mean, it helps when you've got a telescope, though. Uh, he's got a camera <laughs> with a lens. One on a galactic level as well. <laughs> he's got 20-20 vision now. He can, he vision can now. see every huh? blackhead on her ass. <laughs> 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 Sorry. So yeah, he does that little scene, and then he... Um... Well, then, then, then he goes to school, doesn't he? Runs for the bloody bus again. Yes. Runs for the bus we have again. Another repeat mm. yeah. situation. So then, when he gets to school, mm -hmm. he um, he has the scene in the castle. So they have gone for lunch. So nothing's happened till lunch. Oh, he did rip off the thing on the side yeah, of the bus. Yeah, he ripped and he managed to pull it off his hand. Which said, go wildcats. Important. It's a plot point that comes up later. Yeah. It's not. Go That's wildcats. Not. <laughs> so... <laughs> So basically, the whole day nothing happens until lunchtime. Norman. Yeah. 
Go Wildcat. What? <gasps> He's like Catwoman. <laughs> Go Wildcat. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry Steph. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe that banner should have appeared as he jumped on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go Wildcat. Go Wildcat. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, so he, he gets to lunch and then um, I don't remember how it happens. So basically oh. he's uh, sitting down to eat his dinner and suddenly this web springs out of his wrist and hits and the track. And no one ah, before fucking this, noticed. No, before this. The catch. Uh, Mary what's Jane. her name? Mary Jane's walking past. The catch. She slips on a puddle of apple juice, which I'm not sure. How that, does that happen? That, I don't think that it's like... It's not a really is, slippery It was like substance. a white floor and it was like bright yellow... Piss. Piss. <laughs> you would notice it. She, yeah. she would have noticed it if she had spidey sense, but she has no spidey sense. Yeah. No spidey sense. But no. anyway, so the tray goes that she's carrying goes flying. She goes flying. Yeah. Peter Parker, being the legend that he is, he catches her with one hand, catches all her food with the other. Yeah. Piles it up nicely on the tray as it falls. Yeah. Then looks deeply into her eyes, in the creepiest fucking way imaginable I think he was yeah. just smiling and just smiles yeah it's yeah just but he was I don't think it was creepy no she was no. talking to him and no. he was just smiling he's just <laughs> silent she's yeah but he's a... he's shy and nervous around girls and so creepy there's, there's awkward creepy. and then there's a fine line yeah yeah maybe he was being a bit creepy actually. yeah okay I'll agree I'll concede <clears throat> he was being creepy so then so but, that, he ends she... up shooting white stuff out of his body <laughs> 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 First time he ever touched her. That's the problem right there. Yeah. yeah. So he shot he shot a load of white stuff onto a, somebody's dinner. Yeah. And, and then, then so where no were one, they? And it went sticky. They they gone. Maybe They'd that's gone. they were pissed the floor and they needed to oh, clean God. up. That's the point. But so they were gone anyway. So they left their lunch out. Yeah. So he shot his web out of his wrist <clears throat> onto the lunch. Yeah. No one's noticed, even though it's a cafeteria that's full. Yeah. Right. Then he like. Pulls it back, but the tray comes with it, and he slams it into Flash. Yes. Right, so Flash has just got someone's lunch pulled over him. Yes. And then Peter Parker gets up and walks out with the web still on his wrist, still with the tray attached. And still not noticed and by And walks anyone. out, and everyone's noticed by this point, and is laughing and blah, blah, blah. But they don't really take no note of No one notices that there's a yeah. web right. coming out, out of this arm. guy's wrist. And, and then he, if this shit started pouring out of my wrist, I'd be fucking scared. Yeah. Right. I'd be yeah. like yeah, straight to the medical room. I need a plaster or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't it like? I need some hurt? cow pole. There's white it's... stuff everywhere. The thing is, wouldn't it hurt? Like, I mean, sorry, but you'd have to. What have... do you think? It's like Wolverine, where he cuts the skin every time he does it. Well, surely it must. It, cause, nah. Because no, no, because he just developed a new. I don't think they thought it through that much because obviously. But that's the our canon, job, Dan. The canon that's of our the job. We're, we're, Spider-Man. We're fact hunters. He he never he never made <laughs> web. He never made web. Who? Um, Spider Man. Yeah, he originally like actually oh. made it himself, as in like he made mm. canisters of it. They fired. Yeah, out. Not, so I think not like, but, in his body. But like the they thing is, is because yeah. he has he has remarkable healing, like Wolverine. Yes. So he doesn't but, heal quite as well as Wolverine. No, not quite as well. But he he does have like improved healing. So like when he like shoots it out of his wrist, I mean it's gonna hurt like the kind of soft soft flesh of your wrist kind I don't of know split. maybe we need to read a load of Spider-Man comics but then maybe surely surely good. after he doesn't use that for like 24 hours that's going to heal up again and then it'll just be like oh fuck me that hurt shit alright and then it's just I like I know but this guy also swim. gets beaten across the head and he just carries on so maybe he just doesn't yeah, feel pain yeah. as much. that's a good point actually yeah, yeah it probably doesn't matter but yeah so but the thing later on when Spider-Man's famous yes no one from this cafeteria is going to go oh, remember that time that Peter Parker had fucking they would shit out Surely they would yeah. sell this stuff to the news. Yeah. yeah. But no one notices. Because he, he like latches the tray onto the door when he's shut it. It's going but I suppose as well. Let's let's think about it. Weird. Let's think about it on a slightly logical level as well. I say slightly logical because it's not totally logical. But basically, he's an outsider at school. Nobody pays attention to him anyway. He's, he's kind of invisible anyway. Nobody gives a shit about him. He's a nerd. He's an outcast. Nobody likes him. Nobody cares. So nobody's going to pay attention to him at the best of times. Yeah. And then also... Flash, who is literally like the most popular dude in school, has just been covered with fucking food. So everyone's like, everyone notices Flash, everyone knows he's there, and he's just been humiliated. So everyone's view is on him, but nobody cares about Peter Parker. Why would they? Do you see what I mean? True. Everyone's but attention. Everyone is looking and laughing at Peter Parker. Yeah, but everyone is looking and laughing at Peter Parker because he doesn't betray. Yeah, because mm. the tray gets caught in the, the tray's door. stuck on him, yeah. What the fuck's wrong with people? I don't know, it's weird. 
But anyway, so then he then he tries to get away, but then um, Flash appears. <laughs> so this is the first time we see Spider Sense. Yes, and so it's awesome. It suddenly clicks in whilst he's looking at these. So he's trying to get into his locker. Yeah. And then Spider Sense goes off, and he ducks, and then Flash's fist caves in the locker door. Yeah. Fucking caves that thing in. Yes. It's he a, was going big to punch. kill Peter Parker. Yeah. He, he. If he punched Peter Parker in the back of the head. Oh. And then his head hit the locker. It would blow up. That would. That would. Imagine, that, hell. imagine if that's how the movie ended. His spider sense wasn't quite developed. Just like. Boom, boom. <laughs> just like. Finn. <laughs> that would be fucking brilliant. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. That would be a shit movie. Yeah. But no, it was just. just why, why was he going to kill him? Because he's. he's Flash is fucking unstable. He's the guy's a unhinged, fucking he's idiot. Steroids or something. He's, yeah. Got, yeah. he's got the rage. Yeah. He's got the rage. <laughs> the, rage. <laughs> the old rage. rage <laughs> days later. Bloody rage. <laughs> yeah, rage. Um, yeah, he's got rage. So yeah, what happened after that? And then they had the, the infamous... The fight. Fight scene. Mm. Which wow. is brilliant. It's awesome, yeah. Wow. Ooh. Sorry, I was trying and, to copy um, <laughs> It's just those <laughs> massive backflips. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the back somersault. That was the only thing that just seemed a bit weird. <laughs> Well, well, this, flippy, like, but, span around the but this is <laughs> this is the thing. So he kind of dodges multiple punches, and he does kind of like a a Neo from the Matrix sort of kind of like limbo yeah, sort of I'll thing. Move yeah, move out of the way. Yeah, and he, around for a bit. Yeah, and back he, in he does like a somersault and dodges and weaves. He does all this incredible stuff, and he and he lands his one kind of big punch on Flash's chest, chest and sends him flying. And everyone's reaction is, "Fucking hell!" Like, don't say this. They say, "Damn, Peter, you really are a freak." And it's like. Fucking shit! Like the biggest dickhead in school, literally just tried to make his head explode by punching his fucking yeah, face for a locker. Yeah, and then punched and him down a corridor, yeah. and then he's he's a bad yeah, guy. Yeah, he just defended himself. And let's say he defended himself with fucking style. Yeah. So like, did you like the Spider-Man sense scene? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It's it's like one of the highlights. Yeah, I thought. It was really and then it moves on to because then Peter starts really thinking, damn. Maybe I maybe something has happened to me, and it was like, well, you shouldn't <laughs> fucking figure that out when yeah, you shot no, web yeah. like yeah. onto shit out of or your fucking wrist. Maybe when you woke up and your eyes were suddenly fixed, and yeah. you suddenly had muscle. Yeah, exactly. Is that but not enough? A six pack just out of nowhere. You don't. <laughs> you clearly don't have to be smart to be Spider. No. So this is when Spider Man then thinks, right, I've changed. Just go and work it out. Goes yeah. into an alleyway, looks at his fingers and a little. Fucking Stuts brown hair, really. Like yeah, it's like this weird, like hair, like fibers. Yeah, hooks. yeah, like hooks. Yeah, they come out, and then he decides to climb a wall because that's the first thing. Because that's tried. the first thing you think. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, well, that's what that's for. <laughs> that's so, then, yeah, so he climbs a wall, and then he then he realizes he can jump far. This. So the thing is, his first go, he doesn't even know about this. Yeah. His first go is to climb a building and then jump between buildings. They should have. They should have had it a bit more like the Matrix, you know, where. I'm bringing up the Matrix a lot. Yeah, when but, he falls the first yeah, time. Falls but yeah, the first no, one like, ever, yeah. no one ever makes it the first yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. They should have had it a bit more like that. Although, he would he have died? He probably would have died. He would have died, yeah. He's... No, Peter's taking, Peter Parker's taking some fucking big falls and got out from it. Really? Yeah. But not so early. He's still kind of developing. Oh, not straight yeah. down. If he'd ricocheted off a couple of like the walls of the building and then landed. That's true. Or whatever, That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so he decides to jump between buildings and then mm-hmm. he... Then he tries to fire his web out, and the die way the CGI. Oh, yeah, this is the point in the film where you notice the CGI really hasn't aged gracefully. No, it's like a rubber man bouncing over it's rooftops. Pretty, pretty rough. <laughs> pretty yeah, rough. Pretty... Still, still, still good fun. Yeah. So then, Adam, you made a good point. He, he made his web, shot it out across a street, and decided to swing off it. Yes. He's probably Sorry, a big I'm fan Tom. of Tarzan. <laughs> or George even, the Jungle, or George Jungle uh, yeah. he even did the scream yeah, yeah, so yeah I just thought maybe you start slow you know yeah, yeah. maybe the first thing you jump off isn't a building maybe a <laughs> <Yeah>. ladder <laughs> <laughs> good idea maybe jump off a bed yeah yeah <laughs> it was a very ballsy first step, it is isn't it? it it really really is up, up, by the way, web. Yeah, and then yeah, he starts so, testing yeah, his web. So he quotes quite a lot of other superheroes in this film as well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Shaquille so O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, up, up, and away, web. He says, Shazam. 
Yep. And then later on, you see uh, he's when he's trying to build his costume. It says utility belt. Yep. Reference to Batman. There's a few little references. Yeah. Mm. I suppose Marvel always have done well, this that. Wasn't they? Marvel. Oh, it was Sony. Sony. Why is that? So they didn't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Um, but was this the first major superhero film that like, oh, went like, big time? No, it was X Men before Spider Man. Oh, I the first like, X Men film like the was a similar time, wasn't it? Could have been. Have Shadow of Google. Adam will do some research. Adam will do some research. Uh, yeah. Don't know. Did anyone ever see those really old Spider Mans? Um, like Spider Man in Japan. And stuff yeah, no, like they that. don't count. Oh. What? No. I what? No. Oh, you haven't seen Spider Man in Japan or Hong Kong? I don't know no. where it was. No. And what's brilliant is Spider Man in Japan kind of rhymes as well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that was the name of the movie, but there's there's oh. some hilarious old time. It's really? like 1970 or something. We're yeah. picking that out after we finish this, and we're watching <laughs> all of it. <laughs> yeah. So X Men was first in 2000. Oh, was first. Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. So X X Men was big. And, yeah, and and it was great. Also, I liked the first X Men movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it was it wasn't like you know the first kind of one to really bring life back into superhero, superhero movies, yeah. but um, at the same time it was definitely kind of on the cusp of the kind of you know it was one of the earlier films I can recall that really kind of when superhero movies were getting big again sort of thing. Yeah, but I feel like Batman never went away really. No, before, I, before I guess it did. But all, although mm. like even though it. it it's, Batman's always had a continuous stream of movies it's not necessarily always had a continuous stream of good movies I don't know Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze was amazing I oh, to puns. see his you <laughs> <laughs> the best it is the best got to put you on ice, ice. <laughs> <laughs> the best one is just Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I like. That you can one. say what you like about that movie, but it's it's just the most quotable movie. It is. It is. It was Batman Forever, wasn't it? No, uh, no, Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. Oh um, my God, yeah. The Bat card. Never leave the cave without it. <laughs> oh yeah. The bat card. What the fuck? The was it? It's like ATM card or whatever. Bat nipples. It, it just <laughs> bat had, nipples. Had everything. Oh. It didn't have the shark repellent bat spray, though. No. That's, no, that's the one, the film. one yeah. thing missing from it. It would have been perfect. If uh. Yeah, anyway, sorry, back to Spider-Man. So he kind of starts testing out his web, and he's shouting out all this stuff, and eventually he figures out the kind of finger combination to shoot his web. Yep. And when he does, he like, has his little kind of takes his breath and has his moment, prepares himself, swings across and screams like a mad duck and alerts... Like, you know, I mean, he draws a lot of attention to himself. But no one looks up. Well, nobody looks up at that moment. But they didn't, like I was saying earlier, they didn't look up before when there's just a guy on top of a building Jumping. shouting, Shazam! Go, Web, go! Adios! Bye! Yeah. That sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? I it's guess like... this is the New York, Manhattan sort of mentality. Yeah, maybe. it's just it's like, like, oh, he's a mad man, don't look at him, run, walk past, keep walking, yeah. keep walking. Well, I'd imagine in Manhattan, like, other people would shout back. You know, there's always <laughs> the, that classic Fuck thing. Fuck you! Like, yeah, people, like, shouting between skyscrapers. Yeah, yeah. It's like, keep the noise down, shut up, you bum! <laughs> that sort of thing. It's like really old school classic stuff. It's like, I'd like it if they, like, introduced a bit of that. Like it's like a guy in like a wife beater with like washing between skyscrapers. Yeah. yeah, just like <laughs> keep that noise down your bum. I'm swinging here. I'm swinging yeah. here. <laughs> but like you know, so he does all of that. Once again, people seem oblivious to the fact that Peter Parker exists. Maybe the real plot is that he's a ghost, spider ghost, six cent star. Oh god, Ooh. spider ghost. It's not. Ooh. Is it not? No. Is that where we got? Two? Did we go further? That's oh no, we got There was oh, one yeah, last yeah. scene With when Mary he's back Jane. at home. Because he let Uncle Ben down, didn't he? Uncle Did Ben Uncle wanted ben him. To oh, paint, wait, hang to on. Paint the wall with him. A little note about Uncle Ben. This was from a bit earlier, but just wanted to throw it out there. Uncle Ben owns the shittest lampshade in the world. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was that? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. It was, yeah, it was like, so it was like a dinner plate with two grips M on the metal side. wires. Which hold on to the light bulb itself. Yeah. He's also a bit of a thick shit because do you, do you We're know what? All right, when it. when Peter Parker leaves the house that morning to go to school before. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh god. And uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Uncle Ben tells oh, him about the like doing the painting later on. Yeah. Pete Peter leaves and goes, "Don't start without me." And Ben's response to this is, "Don't start up with me." 
<laughs> what? A lot of Peter Parker just walks out the door. Fucking retard. <laughs> Do you think it's like, you know, I don't know, if you, have you ever been caught off guard where like, Someone will say something to you that you just weren't expecting. You just say some really <laughs> stupid just back, random crap. and you just you're just yeah. Uh, you're just like <laughs> you just kind of say something. Yeah. You just say something. You're like, why did I say that? Do you yeah. think that's what he done? He was just got caught off guard. And he was yeah. like, yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't start with me. Yeah, start with me. Yeah, <laughs> the reading of that, the line that, was that's actually... quite foreshadowing because if I keep doing this behaviour when I'm Uncle Ben's age, I will really be pissed off with my life. I'll be like, <laughs> I shouldn't still be making a fool of myself at 68. Yeah, but if Uncle Ben's capable of it, we all are. It was, a, it was no a reading hope. of the line as well because he, he put a little pause in <laughs> after up. It was like, don't start up with me. And it's like, oh, what, sh- it's should, bad, I start up? should I Should I start up without you? Yeah, well, Peter Parker <laughs> be like, no, sorry, I just need a bit of definition of what you're saying. Do you want me to wait? Or, or are you to going to wait? You... Or should I start with you or without you? How's this going to work? And Uncle Ben's just like, are you a retard, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> it's so clear. Go to school, you idiot! <laughs> And then, and then the next scene happened. <laughs> well, that was where, that was as far as we got to, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the last thing I wanted to say, like, he didn't help him paint the house, and Uncle Ben's like a bit like, "Don't worry, I did it without you." Like, you know, bit of a kind of subtle bit of blackmail in that message. I thought. Well, no, it was it Michelangelo. Just said, there's there's meatloaf, meatloaf in the finish. fridge. Yeah. Yeah, but really, you read way too far. Yeah, but into really, that. what that says is, I hate you. Leave my house. I'm <laughs> going to kill you no. if you're not if you're still here in the morning. Fuck off, you disappear. No, they've left food for P.S. him. P.S. They're... You're a retard. No, 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 no. <laughs> they've left food for him. They're still taking care of him, and it's just him that feels bad about it. Yeah. But he blows it over because he's thinking about Putang. Well, this is it. So then Mary Jane's had another argument with her horrible, abusive dad, and she's outside, and they have this kind of weird talk where he's kind of over-complimenting her. He's like, I'm going to see you on Broadway. And admittedly, he does predict the future, but, I mean, it's a bit kind of creepy. Yes, and then Flash turns Running up and he's theme, that, yeah yeah, and Flash turns up and he's got this like Flash car, and he's like, look what I got bought for my birthday because he's an absolute fucking tool, and he's that sort of guy, and she's really dead impressed by it. So Peter thinks that the only way to a girl's heart is with a Flash car, and I will say this now, Peter, having a Flash car is not the way to a girl's heart. How would you know? Well, I don't have a Flash car. <laughs> How many girls' hearts do you have? Yeah. <laughs> Metaphorically or physically? Because <laughs> I've removed a few of them. <laughs> uh, in, they in... come with the rest of the torso, though. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty much where we got to. Yeah, in... that's, that's basically yeah. it. He started designing the costume, but that was that was mm. it. Yeah. In Peter's defence, he had one good line when he was talking to MJ. What did he say? It was sort of like... After she has the fight, it's like, did you hear that? And it was like, no. Well, oh, yeah. Everyone shouts. Uh, everyone shouts. That, yeah, but he said nice. it really cute. I thought it was kind of nice. He was like, everyone yeah. shouts. I was like, oh, I'll go out with you if I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the movie, and I liked it. Would you continue watching it? Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Just yeah. to get to the end, to hear that amazing single by Chad Kruger and the saliva Wait, guy. What? What? Hero. Is that what this was from? Yeah. I can be your hero, baby. No, no, no. No, (laughs) No, you fucking What's that then? A hero will save us. I'm not going to stand here. I thought it was Nickelback. That's Chad Kruger. Yeah, Yeah, the guy guy from Nickelback, yeah. I just thought it was Nickelback. No, it's just Chad and the guy from a band called Saliva. Oh, sure. Saliva, I don't know. Um, (laughs) Saliva. So we'd all carry Saliva on guy. again. Were the other ones in Rick and Glazius? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, was it? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd love it. Yeah, I, I, I love it. Can I just quickly talk about the scene that terrified me as a kid? Yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, <clears throat> no. When 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 Spider Man's got his his suit and his powers and whatnot, and there's a burning building. Yeah. And he swings yeah. into it. And then he's looking for someone as the fires are going, like doorways are falling in. And I whatnot. remember. And then there's like a there's like an old woman crying with like a thing over her. And you're like, he's, he's, so he goes over to get her and he like goes to touch her on the shoulder. The music cuts and out like as well, doesn't it? Spins <laughs> round his green goblin. You're like, ah! it's like that thing from the yeah. others. Yeah, from the others. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly yeah, the same. yeah, yeah. Scared the crap out. Of that it, that was. I remember being creepy freaked out about that going as well. On as well. Yeah, it's yeah. really scary. It's because they kind of well. slowly cut out the music as well, and they like kind of zoomed in. And, and he like poisons him, doesn't he? 
Yeah, 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 that's yeah you're right. Green, yeah, with the green, green gas. gas. See, the guys, the keep saying. Just amazing. Yeah, the oh, is it awesome? Actually. I said when he was freaking out after getting gassed um, in the experiment, um, yeah. he was shaking around. I, I said, "It's like that's what Nicolas Cage aspires. Is, to, yeah. Aspires his craziness <laughs> to be." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he, he he's got no cap on it, so he's just like. Rah! Yeah, <laughs> Nicolas Cage goes overboard, and for, and I like that about Nick Cage, to be honest. Um, so just just part the last of his, part of his terrible charm. <laughs> just the last little thing about this. Uh huh. It. Uh, Became the first film to pass one hundred million dollars in a single weekend. Fuck me! You serious? Of release, yeah. Oh. God, how know. many green goblin suits could it? you buy for a hundred million? <laughs> how much do they go for? <laughs> Did they say in the know. film how much he wanted for a green goblin suit? No. 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 I would imagine because it's pretty. It was pretty high tech. I'd imagine. I'd imagine it's his anyway. seven million a suit. No, because he oh, was going to sell them. Said, oh, it's the, it's the seven million a suit, I reckon. So a hundred million, uh, he can get. Oh, how many is that? Seventy million would be ten. <laughs> Tom, I don't think he's so making it to do the maths. <laughs> It'll be fourteen and a half. Do you? He, want he one? can have fourteen <laughs> and a half Green Goblin suits for that money. That's a lot of money. Awesome. Right, the game. <laughs> <laughs> Game. Expertly done there, Steph. Well yeah, done, I, Steph. I thought it was a very good segue. Smooth transition. Yeah. Perfect facilitator. <laughs> yeah. Ignore Tom and crack on with the podcast. Used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the game on a. It came out on what? PS2, GameCube, Xbox, Xbox. and Game Boy Advance. Yes, and it was Microsoft. released. Uh, I think it was on the PC as well. Our PC? Uh, oh, yeah. and PC. Yeah. And it was released at exactly the same time, at least in Europe, where we are. Uh, for the time being. Hey, Brexit joke. Oh dear. Um, so it's released in no, Tom, June we're still, 2002. Not control of it was released. We're still in Europe, mate. We're not being towed away. For the time being. Wait, no. we're not? No, we're no. not being towed out of Europe, Tom. We'd still be we're still on in the Europe. continent of Europe. <laughs> we can all start paddling if you want. Wait. Okay, we would have to... We'll be out of the EU. We're out of the EU, but we're not out of Europe itself. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Oh, good point. Okay. Well, in that case, it was released in June 2002, exactly the same time as the film. So, yes. and also, it was developed by Treyarch and published by Activision. And yeah. for those of you who recognise those names, think Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops. That's the one. Yeah. Um, so we played the Game Boy Advance version. Shut up. Yeah, no, we did not. <laughs> Could you imagine? Bloody hell, Steph. Oh, people would be so pissed. <laughs> I kind of oh. want to give it a go, though. No. Um, you're, you're like, no one else is feeling this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that fucking fell You're really flat, into, like, it? self-flagellation. You know, yeah. Steph. What's that? It's when, like, you punish, punish yourself. yourself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, whipping yourself. With Game Boy Advance games. I don't play it for like five minutes to so go, this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> At least you do only punish yourself out of novelty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll have a laugh. Awesome. So we played the GameCube version. Yes. And we all gave it a go. And we all gave it a play. None of us did particularly well. And no. there are many, there are reasons for that. that. One of the reasons is because it's actually quite a challenging game. Um, the other reason, the other main reason at least, is because the mechanics of the game, especially the camera, are a serious fucking issue. Yeah. And it makes it very difficult to play. Yeah. Very difficult to play. Especially when, like, these days when you're kind of, you're more accustomed to kind of more fluid movement within games. With kind of... Well, you just, yeah, just the right stick is camera. Well, that is it. But this yeah. one, the camera moves kind of. And if you move Peter, the camera flies around the place. And Yeah. Oh, it was bad. It was very difficult. And also because it's like, it's put onto a C-stick, effectively. Um, and up on the C-stick is to target an individual. But it's kind of a really... It's really janked up. It doesn't really work that well. Mm. Yeah. So, like, if you are trying to pan the camera and move with the C-stick, you will sometimes find yourself automatically targeting people and moving the camera around and kind of... It basically just double fucks itself. Yeah. You know? It's but a constant fucking of itself. All that said, yeah. the first thing, you're thrown into swinging around... Manhattan. Yeah. Which well, is fuck, it's brilliant. It's not Manhattan. It's, oh, wherever it's just wherever a couple you are. of yeah, buildings. Some buildings. But it's brilliant. It's Considering quite it's like 15 years old. Yeah. I think that. Like, fuck, it's 15 years old. Imagine being 10 years old, getting your hands on this first time. 
right, and just started swinging around like Spider Man. Bloody yeah, it was... <laughs> the thing is, I never played this one, but I played the PlayStation One ones. So I really enjoyed them. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it's because I play it now. I'm just not wowed by it. But you guys played it when you were kids. Well, yeah, so... I, I, I absolutely loved it. Stop it! What are you doing? I absolutely loved it. Sorry, Adam's poking me with a pen. And I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely loved it because I remember like a friend of like a friend of mine is Steph when we went to primary school. He had it on the GameCube actually, and I remember we played it a lot. Like we did, we we finished it multiple times. We completed it on hard, so we unlocked Green Goblin, which is a really fucking cool feature. Mm. We were talking about earlier. So you, if you complete it on hard or above on hero mode or whatever, you unlock Green Goblin, and instead of it just being a skin, because they had lots of different like suits and skins you could play as as unlockables. But it totally did the whole dynamics of Green Goblin. So he could float around the city on his bloody lovely glider and drop a few bombs here and there and scream your head off like a cat. <laughs> it was great. It was brilliant. It, like The game had a lot of replayability, but obviously mm. this is when you're younger. And like yeah. we all played much kind of shitter games when we were younger because oh, yeah. your awareness is considerably lessened, you know? Yeah. And when we were younger, it was like we said, we haven't been bloody... I don't know, oversaturated with games. That's mm. true, that's true. You know, you're, you're kind of given... Well, you, you, you take what you're given, effectively. Yeah, but I games kind of, are I kind of prefer you child. Yeah, because like, I, yeah. I was saying to it's you, Tom, like, I wish I could go back to 2002, where there were just so many games, mm. and they're all they're all, like, kind of on par with each other. They're not... There weren't, mm. like, many that really stood out, like, maybe, like, Vice City, which was amazing, like, mm. around this sort of time. But otherwise, they're all like kind of on the same level, and you just go through them all, and you just love playing them all because yeah, you I mean, have this. You don't have a concept of a, yeah, how like, a game is supposed to be. You know, it's like I used yeah, to when right. I was when I was younger and I had my Mega Drive. I used to go to car boot sales and then just see what exactly, you take a Mega yeah, Drive yeah, game, like yeah. in my hands on, and, and like, literally choose it yeah, by oh, the name. Sonic Spinball, hell yeah! You, <laughs> you buy that, that. just because yeah. it was Sonic, and the game was crap. Yeah. Now, but I loved it as a yeah, kid. Cause exactly, you do. You pick it by the name or the like the the. Art oh, on the box, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If you look at like Mega Man artwork, you're like, that looks amazing. And then when you see the actual game, like, what's, what's going on? I mean, I, but, always, um, I always tended to buy games that were a lot more time consuming, like Final Fantasy stuff that you could, yeah. So, you don't, I never had that many games, but the games I had, they took a lot of my time. They, they were games that you had to kind of invest in, basically. yeah, yeah. Where I think one of the problems with this game. Is it is actually quite a short story mode? That's yeah, true. Apparently, about three hours it takes. You... That's it. Yeah, that you can complete three hours. Yeah. Wow, there's it, not quite easily. Yeah. It really, st- from what I remember, it streamlines through the main story plot yeah. elements, and uh, it, but it has a side plot with the vulture and the shocker. Yeah, and yeah. Is it. Maybe the scorpion shows up as well, if I remember correctly. I think I think it does. Yeah, from but what I remember. You yeah. literally, you don't even do a level. You just go through the sewers and fight with him or yeah I yeah I mean it's it's disjointed and it doesn't like do the movie or at least the story of the movie any justice particularly yeah so so the first mission you're dropped on a rooftop and it says find Uncle Ben's killer you've got uh, you've so got it, to, it does a very yeah. quick it does a very quick recap of what's happened till then but he doesn't I don't think he actually mentions Uncle Ben got killed in that little recap he, he does. Oh yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah. showed him winning his match and getting his money and letting the killer go. Oh yeah, it yeah did but it in a very subtle way. It wasn't from the film. It was um, so it's actually it's like animated. animated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, still, which actually wasn't that uh, too badly done. I thought. Nah, to be no, done quite well. Still, still yeah. voiced by Toby Maguire yep. as well. Yeah, exactly. And Voice. he's phoning it in, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah, he definitely did a lot worse job on yeah. this one. Yeah, he just sat on a chair just. Like we are now, right. and just yeah. read his lines from a bit of paper, and yeah. gave a bit of break. Read the next line, break. Read the next line. It's really like it's really. That's one of the things I wrote down actually about like. Um, hang on, yeah, some like some very bad voice acting and wooden dialogue, and especially from Toby Maguire. Yeah. It's like it's like you know, uh, in that, in the following level. Sorry, like to jump ahead a little bit, but um, when there was that guy with the fuse. Yep. And he kind of ran away. Mm. And it kind of had this little awkward pause after the guy ran away, literally for about four seconds, which is a considerable amount, a considerable amount of time for a guy to run. And then the Toby Maguire comes, come back, you. And it's like, <laughs> oh, fucking shit. It's like, you know, your emphasis is way off, Toby. Yeah. We want a bit more heart in that. And then come the, back, uh, you. The villains have the same dialogue lines over and over again. I yeah, forgot, at least I the thugs were having fun with 
like their, they their like very few lines. Carnival in town. Oh yeah. Um, what was the other one? Um, what's with the get up? Yeah, what's chump. With get up? What's with the get up, chump? What's with the get up, chump? But it just reminded us of the crow. Look who came to yes. play. <laughs> it just reminded us of the crow. Hey, clown face. Yeah. Every enemy you see, there's one. That, at least, at least with this one. Yes. At least with Spider Man, you've got the one of one out of four, maybe that they'll say the crow was one out of one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least with Spider Man, yeah. they've opted it. They put put it three more there, so you get a bit of a variety. It's, it's if a slightly higher quality, but it was still <laughs> which isn't painful, saying much. But at one point, it's it's just a bit weird. Like, yeah. So all right. So the, the first bit. Yeah. Sorry, I jumped. You're in. um trying to find Uncle Ben's killers mm-hmm. by flying around the top right yeah, the rooftops mm-hmm. uh, and finding them, beating them up, and then going off to the next group and finding them, beating them up. Fine. Like, so it doesn't really make sense. But there was one when I think it was me playing. I kicked him off the roof. He fell down. Yeah. As he hit the street, Spider Man goes. Well, he didn't know where he was, but I'm getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, he's supposed to be interrogating these people, but you just beat them up and then they fall over and then they dissolve. Yeah. And there's no actual interrogation going on until they meet the no. final guy when he then interrogate him. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it, it's one of those things like the opening level of a game can, can sell a game to you in itself. You know? Yeah. Like whether it be a tutorial, just an open level, whatever it can, it can sell you on a game for the entirety of the rest of the game. Yeah. And the thing is, is like I remember playing it as a kid and being kind of like, because obviously at the time the graphics were really good, you know, really impressive, especially like an open, a relatively open man. I don't know. I don't think they were, mate. No, but they they just they no, were. just, they just, were, just no, if you no, look no, at but Vice City, as, no, no, but it's just like. It's done no better than Vice City. But, like, you don't... That's the thing. As a child, you don't necessarily do those comparisons. Do you know what I mean? No, it's I know. Like... Yeah, as a child. But that's, that's that's different to looking back at what else came out in 2002. Oh, no, if I know. If you compare this and Vice City, yeah. it looks bad. Oh, it's no, a no, very no, empty city state. I, I do and they, remember... they use almost yeah. the same area whenever you're oh, outside. Yeah, they, it's yeah. just copy and paste buildings. Right? It is. But it's just one of those things, like, I, I remember as a kid, like, going into first level and being like, wow, it's just, like, really cool. It, like, does feel like you're Spider-Man. And you just get... Because yeah. you can, yeah, because literally, you I remember like I didn't even do the objective for ages. I literally spent about ten just minutes swinging around. just swinging. Yeah, and I just I was just happy doing that because I'd never had a game up until that point where you could actually just swing around a little kind of simulated town. Well, that's a shame as Spider Man, Spider Man too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's the thing is like so at a time like I remember being totally fucking blown away by it, and it's I'll not give you that at the time. Like, yeah, now. You, no. can't, you can't say it still stands up for 2000. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at looking, all. At, looking at it in perspective, no way. No, no, no. Of course no. not. Of course not. But, I mean, I remember that being like, it sold me on the game just because that first impression, just like, oh, you know, I'm fucking Spider-Man right now. But the thing is, Bit. I felt like that on the PlayStation 1 games, so I don't see how this was any different to the PlayStation 1 games. See, I didn't, I didn't play PlayStation 1 games. Well, it's better than the PlayStation <laughs> yeah. 1 games are better than But like, the PlayStation 1 games are basically the same thing. You're on a rooftop, you're swinging I remember, about. I do remember them as well. I love that. Good I voice acting, actually. I, I mean, I never, the thing fun. is, I never played this one yeah. when I was a kid, but I played, the other I think one. it was like, Spider-Man 2, Electro. It's all nostalgia, really, something. isn't it? It's yeah. all, you, yeah. you like yeah, the one. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing, like, glasses. straight away, I thought, oh, can I jump on the floor in this one? You, you don't, you die. So you can't even go on the floor of Manhattan. Yeah. I will say it's very sandboxed, isn't it? Some of very. very some of the mechanics, although they are a bit janky, uh, and the camera is not great, but um, the fight mechanics weren't too bad. No, I think not too when bad. you get used to like the combinations and the combos you find, yeah. and there's there's funny little things like when we're picking up the tires. <laughs> oh, that was fucking out. hilarious! <laughs> yeah. Like actually beating the people the fuck out. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> there's a, there's a lot to it with. with um, as a straight You'll forward... probably see it on the, the YouTube, uh, the video. Yeah. The yeah. the web attacks that Steph somehow managed to find. Oh, yeah, I like put how myself in a do dome and then shit. I managed to yeah. put web fists on. I don't know. I think how that's I did it. button bashing as well. That that's is cool. button bashing. That's exactly <laughs> you were what it panicking is. on low health. I was terrified. I, was <laughs> I got killed. It is a challenging game. Is, yeah, but I think what possible. makes it challenging, I think mostly, is the control camera. System. Well, it's the, yeah, it's mm. the yeah. camera yeah. angles and the control system. Yeah. Because you're trying to throw stuff, but you're. The camera angle doesn't actually let you see who you're trying to hit. You're right, actually. Yeah. I don't think it's a strong opening. The game has not got a strong opening. I no. think it gets better. But 
I'm trying to kind of think back to like later things. the The only level I really remember is the vulture one in mm. the in the kind of ruined clock tower, and that that from what I remember was actually quite a half decent level. Yeah. Actually, no, well, I think it was it was quite a frustrating level. Very, wasn't it? quite frustrating. Yeah. Like if you because it was like a chase, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Okay. I remember that being really frustrating. But then I remember I remember it being like a an interesting level just because it was like a bit of a standout level. There wasn't one like it. Yeah. Whilst a lot of the other levels are basically similar to the stuff we played. Yeah, like rooftop building, rooftop yeah, building. Yeah, and like a kind of, yeah, and like a kind of um just you're trying to hunt something in particular. You've just got to find something, find some information, and the only way you do that is by beating up a room full of people followed by a room full of people. It's quite yeah, a game by numbers sort of game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's I I'd say you can see where they were going, you can see the building blocks for the second one. Mm. But they did not pull it off in the first one. No. Was uh, just uh, throwing it out there. Was the second one by Treyarch and Activision? Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty yeah. sure it was. Yeah. Really? Pretty sure. It was released. It was sure. only released two years later. Mm. It was released before the um, that's second cool. movie. That's quite a crazy um, transition, then, really, isn't it? Because like two yeah. years of development and it's a total overhaul. Same uh, companies. Yeah, yeah. Treyarch done the GameCube, PS2, PS2 and, and Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, yeah. For number two. Wow. Well, they did a fucking incredible job revamping everything. Yeah. And I haven't even played it. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'll so th this was just that. like, I don't know. Was so, yeah, so you, you go around the rooftops and you find yeah. someone. He does the spyline thing. Like, he's like, you can't scare me. And he throws him off the building and catches him. Yeah. But it was done really badly. Very. And then, um, and he's like, oh, go in here. So then you go into a building and then you've got your stealth section in the building. Yeah, which we which uh, Dan abandoned. fucked up straight away. <laughs> uh, abandoned. <laughs> I, I didn't need it. <laughs> well, no, I don't even know how you're meant to have done that. No, nah, you have to have the call of the ceiling for the entire keep, thing. Because like the portrait, like the Spider-Man portrait by the health and stuff. When you're in stealth, it's blue instead yeah, of red. Yeah, but how are you meant to get to the next section? Just have to watch the character models. Well, but, uh, the thing is, it's not like a well-developed stealth no. sort of system. It, it, so it, it would be the most boring. the most boring way to yeah, complete it's that. Slow, it's slow, slow progress. Trying to shove stealth into games that don't have stealth yeah. mechanics it doesn't yeah. work. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't work, especially not in this. I suppose they're trying to do it quite similar to the film in terms of when in the warehouse scene in the film. Obviously, we didn't get to it, but. He does kind of play tricks with Uncle Ben's killer, doesn't he? Because he's hiding in the shadows and he's up in the ceiling in the rafters before he confronts him. I can't really remember. I don't remember it. that. No? No. I thought he was. I think so. I thought he was like talking to him it. and he was like, where the, fuck, where, where the fuck are you sort of thing? Like he was he like must. shooting and stuff. And, Maybe. And then like he kind of comes out and finally confronts him. Mm. Could have been. Whereas like, in the game, the guy just runs through the door with a shotgun and blasts blast the shit out of shit him. Of you. <laughs> yeah, so like it was it was a bit of a hunt mission where you had to be like, Oh, go here, do this, and then mm -hmm. oh like this guy's ran away now, so oh you can't get through there until you go over here and do so this. Okay, you've done that. Bit of you go through, but you can't go over here until you've done this bit. Yeah. And it was just like a, okay. You know, and we finally got through and then the final boss pops out with a fucking shotgun and <laughs> not <long>. yeah. <laughs> the the thing is, is what I thought about. It. I thought it's it's a game which is coming into at the time like the modern like the modern era. It's coming into like the early years of PlayStation Two and you know GameCube and a new era of console. But it's it's trying to you it's like utilizing common mechanics in a game that were used from a previous uh, generation. Generation, yeah. It's like you know platformers from uh, like the PS One days where it was like beat up this group of people, find the key, unlock the door, get in there, beat the boss. You know, that's a very common thing, like in PlayStation and before, you know, those yeah. common mechanics. And I think during PlayStation 2, they were, you know, there was more considerable technology and they could do more. So they're exploring with different things and different ways of, you know, like having missions and, you know, developing games. And it seems like it was lazy in that respect. It just thought that's a formula that's been done for years yeah. and we can use it. Because we know how to do it, and it's easy. But that's why I don't think it actually advanced much from the PS1 game. Well, no, no. I mean, in that case, no, it didn't. I mean, the mechanics of it, and like the format of it, no way. It's In many ways, it's really similar. Yeah. But it's just not done as well, because it's just not... It's it's not as crisp, you know? It's, it's not as well-developed. No. Not at all. In comparison, you know? Obviously, it's a, it's a kind of more advanced game, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a better game. No. In this case, it definitely ain't. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, any more thoughts on Spider-Man? We haven't actually been talking about Spider-Man that long. No, it's it's, it's hard about to get... The game. The game. Yeah. yeah, the game. It's hard to get a real kind of 
sense of it because I, I like I, I usually I just, take I notes. I don't know because yeah, you, you haven't, and, you haven't and got many notes. I found it really difficult to get like because it is it is so repetitive in many ways, mm. you know. And it's just I t- like you guys talk about having the freedom of being Spider Man. Yeah. You didn't feel it. No, because you, you've, you've not got, played it before. No, I didn't, yeah, no, but that's the thing. It's quite nice that I've gone in now. No, and that's I can true. say it's shit. Because <laughs> you're like, you're like, oh. Would yeah. you play this again? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I was like, I was, I was really excited. I was like, oh, you know, it's fun to be Spider Man. They got the new Spider Man coming out for PS4. I'm well excited yeah. for that. That's gonna be crazy. So I was like, oh, it'll be fun to jump into a little Spider Man world. Yeah. Off the back of Spider Man Two, which I played and loved, mm. I was thinking it's not gonna be much different. I was wrong. So it's like, you're trying to swing, right? And when you're swinging, you can't turn very well. So you have to stop swinging to turn in midair to start swinging. Yeah. You can't do like a nice little like spin like whilst you're swinging or anything. It's not very you, fluid. It's not fluid at all. No. It's not It's not fluid. And the camera just fucks you up. You're trying yeah. to get around. You can't see anything. Mm. It's, it's not fluid. And because it's not fluid, you don't feel like Spider-Man. Yeah, that's that's a really good point actually. Because Spider Man is fluid. Yeah, that's what he is. That's a really he, really he good point. He soars through and he lands a building, runs up the building, jumps off, flies off somewhere else. It's about everything. It's about everything in continuous motion yeah. with Spider Man, isn't it? Whilst this is like the exact fucking opposite. Yeah, this is like slam every, into every a building, object, stone walls, work you. out what's yeah. going on. Yeah, all right, jump off and then try and web swing upwards and oh, you've missed yeah. it. So jump, all right, spin round, all right, get it. You've missed it again. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> it, you don't feel like Spider Man. The thing is, on one level, like analytically, you're so correct and I'm like totally agreeing with you and on the other level you're slowly pulling apart the corpse of my childhood <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like, he's so right I, but I, my heart says he's wrong <laughs> I, I've, so. I've got a, a lot of fondness for the game yeah. when it came to like nostalgia yeah. but after playing and I know the second game very yeah. well I know, I've know i played it a lot and it's something that I replay again yeah. and I can finish again because it's so much better Mm. but with the first game, I know that every now and then I've gone back, I've put the disc in, I've played it for about, well, half an hour, an hour, mm. a bit, but I've never actually finished the game. I always get bored halfway through. And I can mm. understand that. Yeah, because it is repetitive. Mm. It's something that... It doesn't have enough yeah. to grasp you, and even though, like, one of the things I did write down is that, like, it does have re- uh, replayability in its unlockables. But the thing is, that's not necessarily the grounding for a good replayable game. No, it has it has it, replayability. It, it doesn't if work you're... if you can't complete it in the first place. Cause exactly. You well, that, that's yeah, that's yeah. it. That's if it. If this exactly. is the only game you know, then yeah, great. It's got loads of replayability. Yeah. But if you've got something else sat there, you're gonna move on <laughs> to it. Something else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you will. Yeah. But sometimes, if I ever play this game, it's just as a like a ritual before I put in disc two, just yeah. to play it a bit, and then just mm. go okay. Enough of that one. On to the next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. It is. It is hard to kind of pinpoint enough about this game as a general talking point because I suppose actually the fact that we can't find huge amounts to pull out about it is in itself quite telling of the game. Oh no. We're getting a phone call. What's it from? Is it from a company? It's an unknown number, mate. Oh eight hundred. Oh eight hundred number. Fuck them. Sorry about that, listeners. But um, <laughs> basically, like the fact that they can't find a lot to talk about is in itself quite telling of the game. Yeah, because normally the games we can't find much to talk about are on the Atari Fifty Two Hundred or the yeah. NES, where the where yeah. the games are not going to have much meat to them anyway. Yeah, it's exactly. this is on the GameCube. Yeah, this, this is, is two this generations is the same ago. Console it's that not had, that long like, ago. Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah. Fucking hell! Think about that. Let that sink in, just for so, one second. And San Andreas. Yeah. Do you, do you know what I mean? Speaks yeah. volumes, man. The fa- yeah, You're gonna the have fa- to cast off your nostalgia for this one. I know I couldn't for Booga Goosebumps, but Booga Goosebumps. As I'm saying it, I'm like shedding tears because I don't want to admit that it's not that good. Goosebumps. Oh, I know. I think I'm gonna have to, and that's quite sad. But I think, I think it's for the greater good. The greater good. It's for the greater good. I'm gonna to have to consign it to a dark side of my brain and never, never unlock that. I feel really again. bad because you were both really excited when I was. I was. Like, oh, <laughs> I was. You see, as like, as like this podcast started, I was kind of like really upbeat, and now I'm kind of <laughs> yeah, flat at the yeah. end of it just yeah. because I'm just like. I th- I think <sighs> the, the the point of this one. The years of being ten to twelve have 
die. The point of this one is a good warm up for what what is to come next, and what comes next when it's we true. get to it is a really good game. And then, if you can, and then, yeah. if we hold even, on, don't ruin the third one. If we go further than that, I'm just saying we're gonna have some fun. I'm just saying you get to the third one, and that's when the real fun begins. Is that when the comedy starts? That's when you <laughs> can start walking, bro. Right? <laughs> On the on the ground. No, you can two, walk on the ground on two. Yeah, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're in for a treat. Yeah. Fucking hell. Two, Is two, two was... the one with uh, Profex, Professor Octopus? Yeah. Octavius. <laughs> 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 no, his name, his, name, his name is Octopus Man. <laughs> That's the one. Dr. Octopus. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Octopus. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Dr. Occupant. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the one with Doc Ock. Dr. Dr. Occupied. Dr. Occupied. Dr. Occupied. By the way, Doc Ock, I mean, we'll get to this on the on the... You know what, when people say no, you know cast, what, we'll, I just hear Doc Cock. Doc Cock. Doc Cock. Doc Cock. We'll, we'll talk about Doc Cock on Spider-Man 2. Do you hear it? What Do you hear Doc manner? Cock as well? I hear Doc it all the time. Doc Cock. Doc Cock. Just got something dirty in your mind. Doc Cock. Doc Cock. Just always thinking about cock. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So well, I suppose... Should we, like, uh, should we wrap it up? I think so, because it's like... I think if we carried on, we'd just be repeating ourselves. I think yeah. we've got to a, like, a we'll natural... We'll be like Spider-Man again. Yeah, exactly. And we don't <laughs> want to be like Spider-Man again. <laughs> we want to be nothing like I Spider-Man just, again. I just want to show you guys this picture that I found. Pictures don't work too well. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but I found it. I was gonna say... Because um, you misspoke earlier, Tom, and you called him Spoderman. And no, no, Spoderman's... Spoderman. Spoderman. Spoderman's the... That's yeah, him! That's, that's, that's Spoderman. Spoderman. <laughs> yeah. It's bigger, it's bigger than I expected, thing, Dan. Oh, okay. I, just, <laughs> I found it and it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's Spooderman. Yeah, giggle. that is Spooderman. He's a... He's a uh, I, I didn't know he was a person. Meme. He's a meme, isn't it? Yeah, he's a meme. I didn't know he was. I, I, call, I call them memes. It's, it's, I think it's cute. <laughs> Sounds like a... <laughs> My mum said it's cute. <laughs> My mum was like, no, Tom, it's meme. She's 60. Five. It was a joke. Fuck. We're all too just worn out after Spider-Man again. Yeah. So, would you continue playing it? No. No. Anyone Tom? Uh, you know what? I would, but I wouldn't be playing it for long. No, yeah, I'm the I'd same. Because I'd have Steph's vicious words in my head. Like I said, I, I'd play it, but as soon as I get to a point where I turn the game off, that'd be it. Yeah. I think I can continue playing it as well. Oh, so we're actually oh. in favour. Damn. Well, I, Shit. I think I'd continue playing it for the nostalgia effect, um, just to see but how you'll far you'll kill I can your get. nostalgia. I, I love Space Jam. Think... No, you killed my nostalgia. I don't want to go nostalgia. back and watch Space Jam because I think it's going to be oh, crap. Can oh. we watch Space Jam? We can watch Space I think Jam. It must game. be a game. Yeah. We've got to do it. And I'm terrified because I'm going to ruin Space yeah, Jam. Yeah, that'll ruin It'll be Space awesome. Jam. Especially considering on, the first will. half of Space Jam is the worst. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I continue playing it for the nostalgia effect. And that's about it. Yeah, and you yeah, it's, I'm same, not, I don't yeah. expect to have a great So would you carry on playing this game based on what you play today? Cast off any, any. Oh, probably not. No. Oh, you know me. I'm the sort of guy that has to um, play Final Fantasy One before I can get to ten. I'm... You're gonna have a lot of fun when you start Final Fantasy Fifteen. It's oh. gonna be like four years. Four years. Start Final <laughs> Fantasy <15. laughs> No, no. If it's a new game, I give uh, I give allowances. If it's not a chronological thing, but it's like Prince of Persia. I have to play. I can't just start number three. I have to play number one. I have to go. I have to go along. I have to go. <laughs> I have to go, guys. I have to go. Sorry. I must go. <laughs> I have to go now. I have to go. It might be some time. It's time. <laughs> Should we have a look at some ratings for uh, Spider-Man? So we've all said we wouldn't play it again. Nostalgia yeah. not included. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Right, I said I'd play I it think again. It, I think oh, got... so Dan, you would play it again? Yeah, I'd play it again. Without nostalgia? Yeah. Again, that's probably that's, get I think it got that's... some pretty decent ratings, to be fair. But yeah. It did. Back in the day. Well, they're just so above average. Edge magazine, and this isn't a good one to start. Edge magazine oh. gave it four out of ten. Oh, but they're edgy, so it's fine. EGM <laughs> uh, gave the well the PS2 one. It says here six point three out of ten. Okay. Eurogamer six out of ten. Okay. Game Informer eight out of ten for the GameCube. Wow, wow. really liked it. Uh, Game Revolution. Wow. C plus for the PS2. Which oh, is C plus. <laughs> oh, no. Why do they do well, that? Whole, no wonder why Game Revolution doesn't exist. In, well, I haven't heard of them anymore. <laughs> uh, GameSpot, seven point four out of ten. Hmm. GameSpy, uh, seventy-six percent. They're they're all like roughly sitting they're around yeah. there, aren't they? You you have the occasional eight 
or the occasional six or something. But relatively at the time, people thought it was like just a, a, a solid game, I would say. Like, it's, above, yeah. it's above average, isn't mm. it? They're saying it's a, an above average game. It's definitely yeah. above average game. Yeah, so I mean, it, it was it was rated pretty consistently. The overall Metacritic for the GameCube was 77 out of 100, so... Yeah. That's not bad. I'd be it's pretty happy with that I mean, any, the game. Anything that's near 80 is gen- generally a mm. pretty bloody good game, you know? Mm. It's like, yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't hold up in 2017, unfortunately. No. No. So what do we think? Is Spider-Man the game a cash, cash grab? grab. Um, I think I think yes. Yes. I think yes. 100%. I think there was yes. some subtle uh, coercion there on Steph's part. Was it? Yeah, the big, the big, old the big thumbs, thumbs up. You've got, some, <laughs> you've got right. something deadly against this game. You've got some prejudice. <laughs> no, it's, it's just not very good. I think is it? it was. I mean, okay, the standard. I love thing, if we open the, the cupboard thing. and there's just like a poster yeah. of Spider Man the game with a knife in it. <laughs> 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 it's just like, no, not at all. <laughs> I love the game. No, it's great. <laughs> but it's a standard thing. It was released with the movie, so like you kind of just say, right, that cash already, grab. yeah. Hints. Uh, and yeah, looking at some of the other games that came out in 2002, it just doesn't quite, you know, match up with, then yeah, it's a cash grab. But I loved it back in the day. Yeah. So yeah, it was a loved still, cash grab. You could still love a cash grab. Yeah. yeah. But it was a cash grab. It was yeah. a cash grab. Yeah. Uh, it's a cash grab for me, definitely. I mean... And Tobey Maguire, what a dick. Oh. Give, oh. give some effort, oh. mate. Mm. Give some effort. Wait, you're going to do the voiceover for oh, the, the game. Oh, the voiceover. Oh, right, yeah, fair enough. Voice Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, least, at least stand up. I don't know. Generally. I, I just think he's like in a lounge chair, just kind of... He's on like a chaise lounge. lounge. <laughs> Come with back his, here, you. His Counting his money. As he says each line, he gets handed like $100 <laughs> worth of money. They got him back for the second one. Um, Did but, they? Yeah, but oh. you'll find that out as well. Is, is he any Ooh. better in that puzzle? Uh, sizzle. A bit of sizzle for number a little, two. A little better. A little, a little, a little better. better. A little wow. Better. <laughs> Was that a Tobey Maguire impression? A little, a little. <laughs> it needs work. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a bare bones game. It's by yeah. the numbers and uh, it, was, it was pushed out Yeah. Uh, yeah. for this, for the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely this one of a cash grab. Yeah, my my points would echo much what Adam and Dan are saying. To Same. Yeah. So because I don't, it hasn't advanced anything from the PS One version as far as I can see. Yeah. So PS One version was a lot more like the cartoon series. A lot more. It was just a lot more fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. We're in unison then. It is a cash grab. It's definitely a cash grab. Damn. Do you want us to put it on the call wall? Yeah, come on. Let's do it. 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 Who? What was bottom again? Cool ball. Oh, it's got to be the crow. Mm. I think. Is it's it the crow? Yeah, I think, uh, or no, st- Back to the Future maybe. No, it's the crow. Oh, yeah. Back to the Future and the crow right at the bottom. Don't 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 forget we take into account what was on the system. Yeah, yeah. As well, because otherwise it's not fair. Yeah, because okay. this is our first. I think PS2. I think I know where I'm gonna put it. This is our first PS2 GameCube this generation, isn't it? Game that you've done. Um. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yes. yeah. So it's the first PS2 GameCube generation. Mm. What generation what? is that? Generation what three. What game four? to start off? <laughs> no, PlayStation was seventh gen. Like, PS3 seven. was seventh gen, wasn't it? So it was, yeah. Because like, I always forget about the lower generations. I mean, what? Yeah, it's been worse. Right, okay, nice. so I would. All right. So looking at the bottom, you got Crow, then Back to the Future, up to Little Nicky. I think I'd probably put it. I think I'd put it just above Little Nicky. Are you really? a fuck? You'd rather play Gremlins. You'd rather play Moonwalker. If we no, if we're looking at what the consoles could do. Yes. If you're, that's great what I'm point. Great about. point. I, I know, know we're point. putting that into consideration. I mean, look at what the consoles were doing. Along this time, so Vice City. Dan, got Final Fantasy X like, came out before this. Yeah, Ooh, two years. He before. got me right. right Kelly Slater right, Pro right, Surfer. Right, right, right. Bang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who? That, that classic. Kelly game. Slater Pro Surfer. You loved it, Tom. Don't lie. I don't remember. Who's Kelly Slater? Can oh, I have a picture? Shut up. Can I have a picture? Kelly Slater. I remember Matt Hoffman. He wasn't a surfer. He was Matt a... Hoffman BMX. That was a brilliant game. That was Tony Hawk skateboarding. Oh, I just want to say this, lads. Metal Gear Solid Two: Sons of Liberty released in two thousand and one. All right, fair enough. I agree with that. So Adam. that's why I'm saying, like, just above Little Nicky, because it, it's not a bad game. Like, I, 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 I'd prefer to play it than I would Gremlins or Moonwalker or Street Fighter, for that matter. But I'd prefer can, to play Street Fighter. Look, but looking at 
Uh, yeah, but it's Street Fighter the movie one. It's not. Oh like yeah, it. of course. But, but um, nah, I don't know. yeah, but looking at what else was on the console at the time, no, I'm putting it that far down. Even yeah, though I, I think... did love it, and I did love playing it. At the I time. completely agree with Adam except I love playing it a bit. <laughs> 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 but I agree with you, mate. Like, I don't. If you just look at those list of games, it doesn't deserve to be there. But we've taken into consideration the what what is on that console at the time. But then what about look Harry games. Potter one? That's PlayStation One. That was PlayStation One. That was really good. Yeah, true. Okay. I'd put oh, it yeah. at least above Gremlins, but you see, my no, I'd only go above my Gremlins. nostalgia I wants it to be that. below Hercules and above so Harry Potter. Oh, that's my that's my no, hey, listen, on... listen, that's my no, minus. Oh fuck me. <laughs> that's my <laughs> nostalgia <laughs> talking. Realistically, I would have it below Street Fighter the movie. So you're saying better than Moonwalker? Just above Moonwalker. I don't know. I think Moonwalker... Come on, I mean, that's like in the middle of the wall. I think... I don't think it deserves to be middle of the wall. But everything about it has been middle of the road. So why can't it be middle of the wall? (laughs) Because it hasn't been middle of the road. It's been crap. Middle of the road. The camera angle weren't middle of the road. The voice acting weren't middle of the road. No. The graphics weren't middle of the road. (laughs) (laughs) Then it's just below the middle of the road, isn't it? (laughs) So I reckon it should Gremlins. go just above Little Nicky. So oh, right. So you agree with me? Yeah. Oh, that was your point, was it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I cool. suggest if you go just above Little Nicky. So we all agree, yeah? Could you put my name yeah, next to that? I'm still cool that? with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd, help. I'd, I'd definitely play this over Gremlins first. <laughs> yeah, no, of course you would, but it's just look what the PS2 and the GameCube could yeah, do at yeah. the time. Gremlin, you're not going to get a game okay. on this Atari 5200, are you? No. no. All right, that's fair. Okay, that's a fair list. That's a very fair list. Because if we done it just the game itself, it oh, should we should top. we put a screen grab of that on the video? What this? Yeah, so people can see our wall and how it develops each time. We should do that. Yeah, we, I haven't been doing that. That's a good idea. That... I was wondering how we could let people see the cool wall. There we go. Do a screen grab so you guys can hopefully be w- looking at it now. If I remember. If I remember, I'll put in like a clip. There you go. Remember. Remember. Oh yeah, because that's the cool wall. wall. The it's gonna four... make... And you know, I'm the one that's doing it as well. Stop trying to make it sound like you do the editing there. Yeah, got it, got it. (laughs) If I remember. I'm going to put in a clip now. Yeah, I'm the one that does the editing, remember? Yeah, Dan does the editing. Wink. Don't wink. Fuck off. Hey, wink. (laughs) They can't see the wink. (laughs) They can hear the wink. I'm the one now to go back and re-record Back to the Future gameplay because we forgot to record it. In fairness, I probably I deserve all kind of myself. medals for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I hope how much you hated this game that you have to do it the same as well. And, you have to, and then you'll love it. He'll play it by himself <laughs> and he'll love it. It's like that Mike Tyson quote. What did Mike Tyson say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll, fuck, I'll fuck you till you love me, bitch. It's like that. I'll fuck you till wow. you love He said me. it to a man. Okay. And I'll that's what Spider-Man's going to Man's gonna say to me, is it? No, well, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> right, on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we call it, I guess. We call it? it a day. Okay, so basically, if you're listening on SoundCloud, thank you for listening. Or if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you're on YouTube and follow us on SoundCloud. And get in touch at cashcrabpodcast at gmail.com. That's one, and cashcrabpodcast for Twitter. Yeah, and tell your friends, share. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just reel them all off. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Well, well, we haven't got any idea what the next one, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Did we stop recording? No, we're still recording. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you later. Later. Bye. See ya. Bye.